How's everyone going? How's it going, YouTube? And welcome to welcome to Linux. I'm going to be covering uh, installing Ubuntu. Uh, right now, I'm doing it on a virtual machine, which allows me to install uh, multiple operating systems on a single desktop. So when you first put in the disk, um, you'll probably want to. Uh, there, I've got a video that shows you how to boot from the disk instead of the hard drive. So you'll want to set that up and then restart the computer and allow it to boot from the from the disk. And the option you'll click is install Ubuntu. Or you can uh, try it live for a bit. Now when you go to install Ubuntu, there is an option to, down here at the bottom, install third-party software. The, you'll want to definitely click that. That'll install things like Flash Player and uh, the codecs for uh, MP3 and things like that. So I didn't have an operating system here because it's on a virtual machine, so it said install the whole thing. Uh, let's put aside 8 gigs for my virtual machine. And I got it installing. You have to excuse me, I have yawned a little bit. It is 2 something in the morning. So I apologize. And you just saw me, you just saw me uh, pause the recording. Uh, that doesn't work so well on uh, Kazam Record, what I'm using to record a desktop. So um, it does with the uh, record my desktop, the other. Uh, recording uh, software, but uh, Kazam, not so much. Anyway, so it's going to be recording. Um, you, If you were installed a third-party software, uh, excuse me, it's going to be installing, if you were installing the third-party software, it would be installing the MP3 codecs and things like that, and Flash Player stuff, so you could go ahead and watch YouTube videos right off the gate. So you got to select uh, where you're at. This is just so we can get the date and time correct. I just clicked on somewhere in East Coast. So I'm like, eh, good enough for me. And click Forward. And it's going to ask you for USA keyboard, keyboard layout, basically how it is. You put in your your, uh, your name. Um, it'll give it like a default computer name where you could just change that if you'd like. Uh, pick a username as well. And it'll ask you for your password information. So once you put all that in, then go ahead and click forward and it will uh, continue the installation. In the next video I've got up, um, you'll see what the default Ubuntu desktop looks like and uh, some of the software that's included with it. Once again, thanks for watching. Uh, please vote and uh, rate and comment, excuse me, if you like it. And uh, I hope you come back to my channel.